Hey, this is Alicia Mon, and I'm so excited that you are going through with me learning how you can use tapping more every day and you can get more comfortable with it so you can start doing it on your own. So today I wanted to cover the emotion named frustration. <laughs> I don't know if you ever feel frustration with children, with your things you have to do, with work, with your spouse, you know, whatever it is. Um, I bet if you paused during the day and just kind of did a body scan, took a deep breath and saw how you were doing, you might find some frustration there. So I thought this would be a good go-to thing that we could tap about every morning, whenever during the day, and we would have a ring dinger every time because frustration comes up a lot for people and that's okay. So I want you to take a deep breath. And just tune into your body and see, do you have any frustration? Now, some things might come to your mind, like think of the last time you were frustrated. What was it about? Children, spouse, dog, cat, things you have to do. You're not moving fast enough, traffic, you know, whatever it is. Just think about the last time you're frustrated. And then I want you to rate that frustration in your body, zero to 10. 10 being the highest. And then repeat after me. Okay, so we're gonna start right here on the karate chop point. Even though I have this frustration in my body, I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I got so frustrated, And it's still in my body. I choose to feel peace fill my body now. Even though I have this frustration in my body, I choose to give myself a break and wonder if I can let some of it go. Okay, eyebrow point. All this frustration in my body. Side of the eye. Oh, I'm just so frustrated. Under the eye. I have so much to do. Under the nose. How could they do that? Chin right in the crease. All this frustration. Collarbone. I think I carry more of it than I think. Under the arm, all this frustration I carry in my body. Top of the head, I wonder if I could let some of it go now. Okay, take a deep breath. And we would go back and we would think about our original target, which was the last time that you got frustrated. So think about that again, and then just notice, no right or wrong, what did your number do? Now, if you hadn't let yourself fully feel your frustration and get that emotion out of you, you might have a higher number now because now you are tuned in how mad that made you. Okay, so that's fine. You just continue tapping. And you might have different thoughts come to your mind, different layers, and you just continue tapping. So remember to breathe a little more during your day. And again, we are going for a higher quality of life here, feeling happier and for longer periods of time so we can enjoy life more. I mean, that's the good life, right? And tapping is an amazing tool that allows us to release these feelings out of our body and also tune into what we want and amplify that. So I'll see you next time. Keep tapping, guys. Thanks. Bye.